Oh, boob, boobus, boobus. Oh shit. Sorry, guys. Uh, welcome to the video, and we are gonna just jump right into it with uh, a Bonnie mission. It's. I know what this mission is, and I'm not gonna be happy. Trust me. Look. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Calm down. No, I'm stuck. I gotta get back on my horse. God, horsey! You're just so weird today. Come on, man. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, and terrible winters, cholera. I buried more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiven sun. That whole herd of cattle take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always gonna be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't wanna live like that out here. Sneaking around and spying and secret missions. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baby. We're gonna catch us some horses. You're gonna need this. Oh, Mr. we got our lasso. Okay, well now, right. now you got some rope on <gasps> Sorry, Bonnie. I didn't mean to I didn't mean to do that. Some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a of dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? I know we're only as free as they say we are. Power is like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. There's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Damn right. It's just like we're still having these problems today. Biow! Oh, horses! Horses! Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Come on! Yo! Yo! I love horses! 
Make sure we grab the we got to grab the horse grab the horse and then and then and then move left right left right come on you got it you got it We're close This is easy. Okay, there we go. All right, let's get the other ones. I'm getting there. Don't worry about it. Got him. Come on. Come here, big boy. Holy shit. Come on. It's all right. Relax now. Ah! No, we got it. We got it. Okay, we're go. good. We're, we should be there. There we go. Okay. Look at that. You're a natural. Get him, Bonnie. It's all yours. I don't want to stop killing bad guys. Bad guys are bad, so they have to go bad by. <laughs> I don't know what I just said. <laughs> that was so stupid. That was stupid. Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. John Marston's mouth is moving. I don't know if you guys saw that. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's head for Armadillo. All right. Here's the painful part. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No. That's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countrified. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He'd never admit it, but my paw's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. <laughs> okay. We are Anyways, almost... My wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. It's kind of painful, but she's never far from my thoughts. Looks like the ranch hands up ahead. Ooh. All right. I'll go do my thing. I'll do my thing. I'll do my thing. Let me up there, please. Please, I'm so close. Yes. We got it. There they are. Those are the most prettiest steeds I have ever seen. Now it's time to get them into their rightful place. The canyon. Where'd the other one go? 
I know you are. I'm just trying to. They're just not wanting to. Guys. Guys. You're going the wrong way. You know that, right? Wrong way. Wrong way. This way. Now, you're almost there. Bonnie, what are you doing? Bonnie, get out of here. Where is, did Bonnie go? Why are you following me, Bonnie? No, no, come on, guys. Wrong way. I swear to God. Come on, my beautiful steeds. Yes! Perfect. We gotta go get that steed. I got it. Oh, we're getting close. Oh no, it's getting, it's going faster. Can I take horse pills? Did I, did I buy horse pills? <gasps> I have horse pills. I can go as fast as I want. Oh, oh, he's so much faster than I thought. Even my horse can't keep up with this guy. Come on. Come on. Did I get him? Yes, I got him. Go. Come on. He's mine. Come on. Come on. Almost got him. Ha ha. Get He's mine. That's it. Steady. Can't go too crazy. Can't go too crazy. Come on. Finally. We finally freaking got the horse. Perfect. Alright. Let's go turn this thing into Bonnie. Where am I going? Oh, there we go. Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know... Why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. I can keep it? <gasps> I can keep it! We can keep it, guys! This is our horse! No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. This is my horse. My horse, not your guys's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just... I have to have stuff for myself, too. And I can tell you, with no uncertainty, that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. Uh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service, at the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then, they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just two dollars an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir. I do a bulk discount rate of one ninety-five an ounce, <laughs> as long as you buy a hundred ounces or more. That's a lot of immortality. Uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> uh, listen, Marston, I'm broke, but this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> Head for Ridgewood Farm. Scummy little shit. There are people there in dire need of my tonic. Excuse me, people. Excuse me. Good birdie. Uh, oh my god. Oh shit. Oh my god. Dude, I saved your life. Give me a fucking break. You hop out here, John. All right, he's just telling me to hop out so I can walk over there, which I'm not. I'm gonna ride my new 
an improved stallion. How do you already how do you already set up everything? Oh, that's weird. Hardworking souls of Chola Springs, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> well, can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. Perfect. I. This is. Remarkable! The eyesight of an eagle, granted by imbibing Dr. Westicken's own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My why am I the fraud? The test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Get ready to shoot that hat. I got it. I'm Get ready. <laughs> Damn right. Behold the power That's right. Plucked out of the sky. Hey. Hey. What? You think you can Put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? Hey, don't work like that around here, mister. Come on, are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Look at him. The tonic is coursing through his Get veins. your sh Get stuffed. There's still time. No, John Marson, don't hit him. Yeah, there we go. You're having a hard time right over there. Come on, show me something. Yeah! There Woo! Skeptics and dissenters, irrefutable proof. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. Look, he's over there. Go get him. This ends now. Watch out! He's got a gun. Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. Got it. Marvelous shot, dear boy. The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. You'll be fine. Get out of my way. Hey, where are you going? I want a bottle. Get me a bottle, please. Oh, it worked. Damn right. You better. Well, 
I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and I, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. Uh, he's uh, most often found at Coote's Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! Uh. All right, you old scummy son of a bitch. Bonnie, what's going on over here? Oh, damn it. We got to do deal with more cattle? I don't want to deal with cows. Come on, come on, let's go. Hey, Get them in there. Come on, come on. Hey, miss. Hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Let's go get our horse. Before the weather gets any worse. Oh god, I hate Let's this go. mission so Whoa. much. This mission is so freaking. It's just a cow. They're just they cows. They're conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path but me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. The pastor's who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. It's gonna be difficult to talk in this weather. Stay close. We don't want to lose each other. Come on, boys. We found the cows. What do you want me to do? Oh, sorry. All right. Drive them over to the pasture by the old oak tree. We'll merge them with the other herd there. Whoa. Not that bad. Alrighty, come on. We just got started, stupid cow. Another one? Why? Stop running away from the herd. Get back over there. I want all the cows. Perfect. There we go, buddy. The, oh, I thought that was a cow. That's just a deer. Dude, you freaking fat cow! You're an embarrassment, you're a fool, and you need to get back to the herd. Alright, perfect. Perfect. Come on, no, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. God, these fucking cows. Oh shit. Shit. Enough enough out of you cow. Enough out of you you cow. Out out with it you cow. No shit. Shit. No, out with it you cow. Cows, you cows. Stop it you cow. Stop it. Stop it. 
I will go. I'll go with you fellas. Oh, we saved a couple. No, dude. You're just gonna casually walk off the edge? God, this is so stressful. No, guys. You saved the herd back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Thank you, Miss McFarland. Oh yeah. Sixteen cows. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Come on. Let's see if we can find the old goat. Come on, boy. Let's go. I've got a bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling about this. I know. I am. I'm Don't with you. Worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Wait, where? Let's hurry. Where? Oh, over here. Stay with me. Daddy, what, happened? what happened? Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now and fetch the wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. It's a bad idea yeah. to split up right now. What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. I know who it is. It's Williamson. Those damn rustlers. I've got a good It's like the same exact thing that happened at those campsites. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize The outlaw it. with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. You're upset, Miss McFarland. Killing's killing, Mr. Mar- Oh my God, the barn's on fire. No! On, I love that barn. What's going on here? What's going on? I will, I will. These sons of bitches burning down the barn for no reason. I gotta make sure I don't run or I'm gonna fall down. And I. Oh god. This ain't working. Come on, John Marston! Come on! Ow. He got the door open! 
Weapon. <coughs> I got it. Don't worry, Bonnie. Just let me handle this. Yo. Yo. Perfect. That's called a save, baby. You sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. Perfect, John Marston. You did it. You paid off your debt. And these horses are running free. Free, I tell you. They're free. And I think that is it for today. I said I was going to do a mission with Seth. I know. But I think dinner is ready, so I'm going to go eat. But next time, I guarantee you, we will do Seth. Um, let's see if we got any new costumes. You fucking son of a bitch!